Nathan. Tonight, Jacksonville City Council has come up with a plan that it hopes a federal judge will accept. That plan could change Jacksonville's political makeup. The council was under court order to draw new boundaries for the school board and city council. After many maps and two votes today, they approved a plan just two hours ago. News for Jacks reporter Jim Piggott has been in the marathon of meetings about the maps all week. Jim, this whole process has been really upsetting for many. What's what happened today and then what's next? Well, let me start you from this morning, and you're right, there have been lots of maps. This morning, they had six different maps that they were looking at, really, and then they narrowed it down to one. The concern, though, with the one map that they ended up with was that it divided, it divided Riverside and Avondale in half. So they took a vote on this map originally. Well, that vote didn't pass, it didn't go through. But the person who represents that area, Randy DeFore, said, well, let's take another vote. She wanted to move the city ahead. It passed, but when I talked to her about why she changed her mind, she was in tears. How do you feel now? <sighs> you know, it's hard. Explain why. Um, you know, I grew up in that district. That's Riverside Avondale, are very much a part of Ortega. And having them separated, I just doesn't not only doesn't feel right it, I just worry about whether they're going to get the re representation that they deserve you, you know why did you change your vote then if you're that strong feel that strong about it we couldn't make it work I actually had Jerry Holland on the phone I um, he, Dr. Johnson was working I wasn't allowed to look at the maps as you know but they I trust Jerry Holland and he said they just couldn't make it work do you think the judge is going to accept this in a way, I hope not, <laughs> because, because if I can get Riverside and Avondale back in my district, I would prefer that. It's part of this meeting. So this map will now go to the judge who can either accept it or reject it. Now, the city, of course, is trying to appeal the judge's earlier decision, and there's no word yet if they're going to drop that appeal now that they have the new map. That's something they're going to be talking about. And I did talk to the council president about where we stand now and what all of this means. Here's what he told me. You know, when you look at the process that we went through um, in such a short period of time, to offer so many opportunities in that window for the public to be heard, um, doing our workshops in an open manner and transparent manner, manner so that the community can be engaged. And what you saw at the end was a final product where not only Council Member DeFore, but many of my other colleagues, there was a lot of sacrifice given um, and, and hard work and time so that we could get to a product at the end that is constitutionally legal and permissible to submit to the judge in the time that, that, that we were required to do so. You know, if you think about this, whatever happens from all of this, it is going to change the political landscape here in Jacksonville. No predominantly black districts had at least been jammed into there, and that's been the lawsuit. The people who filed this suit, they hope that this map will be rejected by the judge. Of course, it's up to the judge to decide. But again, that's going to change the whole outlook. We're live at City Hall. Jim Pig at Channel 4, the local station.